What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So in this video, I wanted to talk about the HEROES Act and just a quick update on the HEROES Act and how I feel about it. Um, I did recently release two videos on the HEROES Act and um, I just had something that I was thinking about over and over and over again. Before I get into the detail, make sure you hit the like button on this video. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this one. And I do a giveaway every single week, so check out that video up in the cards. Now, the reason why I wanted to make this video, this short video, is because I was looking at articles and I was thinking about certain situations. Like, how can they improve the stimulus check if they did just offer another $1,200? Like, if this just went down to another $1,200 and then basically the same um, setup as it was before, $1,200, $500 for a dependent, what could be different to make it a little bit better? And I think that one thing, and I think one thing alone will make it a little bit better, is getting the money to people. Right now, you're still dealing with people that haven't received their money for the first stimulus check. So to offer something for a second stimulus check kind of just makes them really upset. You know, all of the people that I see in the comments are telling me I haven't received it, I'm on SSDI, I'm on SSI, you know, and the only thing I can give them is what, you know, the IRS has given everybody. And, you know, whether it's just like May 13th, which it didn't come for everybody, but I have expressed that it probably won't come for everybody on May 13th. It will probably be somewhere around either before or after um, and even on the day, but it's not gonna be all of them on May 13th. It's just not, that's not how it works. But people are so upset with the fact that they haven't received a first stimulus check, so why introduce the second one? I looked at this article on Forbes to where it talked about the HEROES Act and it had a little section that I didn't highlight in my last video and I wanted to highlight on this video um, as long as I can scroll. For some reason, it's not working. So here's the section uh, right here, uh, right above the area that I was talking about yesterday. Um, how will checks be sent out if this bill is approved? Now, this is what got me really upset when I did read this. Now, I didn't actually go through it with the first time because I was more focused on, you know, will the HEROES Act be passed? Will it be passed? Will people get their money? Will, you know, uh, businesses get some sort of funding? Will states and local governments get money? Um, and this is more interesting. So will it go out any differently? Will they send out cards? Will they get everybody on some sort of bank account? I, I don't know. Will they wire everybody their money? Will they send out all checks and nothing else? I don't know exactly what they're gonna do, but in this article, it states that it will be the same as the way it was for the first stimulus check, which is ridiculous. I just don't understand why they would do that when there's so many errors, so many flaws, so many problems with people still not getting their check. And it's not just one or two people, it's not just 100 people, it's like thousands of people, millions of people actually, that haven't received stimulus money. So, you know, if you have 20 million, 30 million people that haven't received stimulus money, this is ridiculous. And to basically mock the same method is gonna be horrible. So whether this does get passed or it doesn't get passed, people are still gonna be upset with the fact that it took them over a month to get that money. And it's just ridiculous. I mean, if it's gonna go out the same way, we need to fix something. There needs to be some sort of system. I understand they're gonna probably fix a lot of the portal issues, but you're still gonna have the same amount of people, if not more, accessing the site, trying to get all their information in there. If they don't have their information in there, then they have to basically say, you know, how am I gonna get my check? SSI recipients, veterans, what do they have to do? Do they have to sit back and wait for that check to come as well? And then eventually they'll get two checks after they're out of their house, after they haven't, you know, eaten in how many weeks, after they haven't had water in so long? Like, this is what gets me upset. So just look out for information. I'll make sure to keep you guys updated on whether it will be the same process if they do approve it. But the way that it's looking, it'll be the same way. At least with the, um, the ABC Act, when they had that all set up, they said that it could possibly go out by PayPal or you know some sort of electronic um, payment service type of thing, which would be really amazing because so many people can download PayPal, verify their identity and all of that stuff and then get their money. Um, now, there will be some scams that go out uh, because that's how people uh, work, I guess. They function that way. But still, I, I don't think 
that you need to do it the exact same way. You need to rethink the way that you're planning on sending out this money if you are gonna send it out. So those are more thoughts on the stimulus package, the new stimulus package that's supposed to be um, going out, it's proposed, and I, I, don't, I don't know if it'll be approved because it's too much money going to a lot of people, um, state and local governments, which Republicans really didn't wanna send it to there. They also didn't wanna send it to people. They, they don't, I mean, really. Donald Trump would rather have people um, receive payroll tax cuts, which is a benefit, but it's not a benefit to everybody, over you know getting physical money in their hands. So let me know what you think about this. Do you think that they're doing this the wrong way when it comes to handing out the money if they do it this way again? Or let me know your method on how they should you know send out this money to a lot of people, to everyone. Also, let me know if you think it'll be approved. I'm really interested to know um, what your thoughts are. But that's my video, guys. Make sure you hit the like button. Also, hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one. And I do a giveaway every single week. So make sure you check out that video up in the cards. And I'm going to have to get out of here. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh.